morning and welcome to Manic Fishing. I'm just uh, 20 past 7 Saturday and I'm just uh, radio to North Bridge to go up so I'm going to get a lockout. Today I'm going to go and uh, shadow a very good friend of mine, um, John Little. He, uh, Him and Malcolm, they uh, run Manxville out of Eastbourne, best charter boat in my opinion in the harbour uh, and we're going to go for rays today so it won't be an action packed uh, pollock video but uh, should be quite enjoyable so let's just get myself into the log well this is Manx Bell just turned up so let's just go over and see John John's a very experienced skipper he's um going to take me out very kindly on one of his rod marks. John's just uh, steaming over towards me now so uh, I'm just going to get set up. I didn't make any rigs or anything like that up but basically I'm just going to use my 12 to 20 rod. On this one I'll use a long boom and about a three foot trace with a 4-0 hook and I'm going to fish squid, lug, I've got some blueies in there so I'll chop it up, but just uh, not massive baits, just uh, I'll show you and I'll wrap them with elastic. Now I've got some 50 pound fluorocarbon. It's, uh, that'd be perfect for this. And what I'm gonna use is I've got some long shank hooks here. Nothing special, present the bait a lot better on this. And there, I think they're about a 4.0. They haven't got massive mouths raised, so uh, I think that'd be fine, but the bait will be able to go up there and I'll be able to whip it on. So just literally the knot is just uh, around the line and round it five or six times. And what I do is I do leave, that's uh, on there, but I'll cut that tag end off a little bit, but that will help me hold the bait on the end. It just, uh, the bait can just ride up on that. So. I've just left a, a little sort of five mil lap on that and I want the bait to be reasonably on the bottom so I'm going to give it about, I don't know, about three foot and then I'll put a swivel on that. As I say, normally I, uh, I have all my baits and everything prepared, all my rigs, but it's just going to be a bit of a lazy day. My ribs are still hurting from my Pollock trip. So I uh, just want to have a nice relaxing day today. So same again with this barrel swivel. I'm not going to put a Muppet on there or anything. I'll get this first one down and then I'm going to try a couple of other little bits and pieces. So basically what I'm going to do, I've got these blueies from the angler's den just down here from the marina they're only small ones but i think they'd be perfect so i'm just going to cut the head off and uh i can pretty much fish these whole i think i'll just take the tail off and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it down long ways down so that it presents the flesh i think that would give that a lot more scent So it's like that. <clears throat> and then I've got my, uh, I think I have somewhere, I've got my baiting spoon and some elastic somewhere. Skip's playing. Yeah, there's my elastic. I think that Skip's been chewing by the look of it. Yeah, that'd be all right. So I think I'm just going to try this on its own actually. So I'll put the hook on the on the end like that. And just wrap that round with a, a bit of a bait in an elastic just to hold it on there. The blue is a quite... I think the dog's been chewing this. Oh, it's not too bad. Yes, he has. A little bugger. 
Uh, I've got some more here. Come out of the way. And with that tag end on the end of this uh, hook, it just digs into that bait a little bit and uh, holds it. That's it. Push that off. And there's the bait there. Hooks, hook point's proud. I'll just go over that a little bit more. Just make that a little bit tighter. So that's the bait there. All right, let's get that one over. Uh, what I'm using, I'm using a um, an eight ounce lead for now. We'll see how we get on with that. <coughs> Let's get this first one out. I'm going to flick this one out. And we're in, uh, we're only in 47 foot of water. Okay. So I've got that one out, so uh, let's set some more, a uh, couple of other rods up, and I'll show you a rig I'm going to use, which is almost like a self-hooking one. I'm going to use my bigger lure rod for that. I think that'd be quite good fun if I hook a ray on that. And what I'm doing with the second uh, rig, I'm just wrapping it up with a squid. So exactly the same rig, just that long shank 4.0, and I'm just wrapping a whole squid up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just stab this up a little bit just to let the juices out and I've got a I've got a 6-0 on this uh, a 6 ounce lead on this uh, set up because it doesn't seem to be a great deal of tide as I said it's um, high water about up as 10 so I'll have a couple of hours of fishing this and then see how I get on with it so that one's out with a bluey so let's get this one over and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cast this one a little bit further over this side so it's away from my line. And let that go down. I'm just trying to keep the rods apart, you know, so they don't tangle. Showing quite, I don't know if there's herring or whatever down there. As I said, really, this is... Um, Manx Bell's mark this one um, he kindly gave me this very experienced skipper in the marina so let's put that rod uh, here yeah he's got a party on there today he wanted to go and do some rough ground fishing and try for some rays and whatever but um, no doubt we will pick up a dogfish here unfortunately but it is what it is so yeah, it seems to be fine, that one. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll set up my lure rod and I'll show you this um, this rig that, uh, it's like a self-hooking rig. Um, I couldn't buy a, an inline ball lead, but I think I've got something here I can make it with, so uh, we'll have a look. Well, basically, this is what I've made up. Ideally, I wanted a lead that was in line, but it doesn't really matter. So I've just got two swivels on an 80-pound bit of line and two beads to stop it banging on the knot. And this basically is a self-hooking rig. So I'm just going to clip that onto a, the end of my lure rod and just put about a two-foot snood on that. Exactly the same setup before. But uh, this, I'm hoping, will roll around. It's a lighter lead. And uh, when the ray picks it up, hopefully it should hook itself straight in the mouth. But it's, uh, it's just trying. I saw it on a friend of mine's video. You know who you are. Um, so I'm going to give that a try, John. Right, um, we're, uh, right, same, uh, same setup, long shank, 4-0. So that's the rig there, about the same, sort of two and a half foot on this, uh, hopefully self-hooking trace. Now what I'm doing is I've got a bit of bluey flesh side down, some black lug frozen and uh, just a half a small squid, just like a cocktail bait here, which I'm hoping is going to 
do it for me. So I'll wrap that up and you can see the hook is nice and proud there. So let's push this off. And there's the bait there. So I'm going to give this a cast out. No skip. He's being a little bugger today. He ran away this morning. I had to chase him all around the marina. He's a nightmare at the minute. Being very naughty. Right, so where's my line? So I think I'm going to cast this one right out over here. And then I'm hoping that bait is just going to roll around in this boat. I'll give it plenty of line and let it... So it can just roll around. And I think I'll get my... I think I've got a rod holder under here. was a little bit worrying this morning. I um, I come out and my uh, didn't show that my batteries are charging. They're okay at the minute. Um, I've got three batteries on it, but as I said, my friend's there. So hopefully if I get in any, any problems, he'll uh, get me in. All right, and I want to make sure I lock over that reel on this rod like 1200 quid sitting there more than that <laughs> about fifth i think they're about 1500 quid sitting there so i don't want to be losing that right so we're all down i've got three rods out so just uh sit and wait hopefully we'll catch something all right that rod i've just put out the lure rod is uh seems to be uh moving around a bit Yeah, I'll say it'd be nice to catch one on this uh, lure rod. It does uh, feel a little bit knocky, like a dogfish maybe, but... Okay. I'm not sure what it is. Obviously, it feels a lot heavier on the lure rod. I'm hoping it's a ray. As I say, they don't fight much rays, but uh, they're good fun to catch. Oh, literally, I'd only just put this rod down, so... Oh, that's lovely. It's a ray. It's target species. So I'm pleased with that. Well, I've got my other line there, so... Or one of my lines. Well, I'll just have to get it in first, and I'll worry about that when I get to it. Great. Well, John, what can I say? First ray over the side. Not massive, but I'll have that. Great. And that's literally just hooked. 
they've got tough mouths but that's literally just hooked in the jaw so I'm really pleased with that um, I'm glad I watched your video <laughs> oh dear let's try and get the hook out there you go lovely thornback ray okay let's get him back so lovely ray so i just had that little ray on that uh, rolling self-hooking rig so what i'm going to do is i've just chucked it back down with a with a um, squid on so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to make up that bluey and uh, lug and squid bait again um and see i had a little tap on that but i had to get rid of my other rod because it was just too much um loads of bleeping down there i don't know if that's herring the lads on manx bell are having a few dogfish and whiting they haven't had a ray yet i'm not don't think they're not too far away from me but yeah i'm going to get one baited up ready and uh, make another trace up get it ready and all i've got to do is hook it on <laughs> so it looks like i'm getting another bite on that little uh, rod I'm just going to bait this up. I've done this the uh, about face way. I should have had the snap swivel on the trace. And anyway, it is what it is. Still work. Right, so I'm going to get this one baited up ready. And then I'm going to check this rod and just see what this one's doing. So I'm getting a little inquiry on it. Okay, so this is Malcolm's rig. I think this would be perfect for congas actually but I'm going to cast this over and uh, I've still got my 8 ounce weight on there I'm not going to go so far with this one because I don't want it to just give it a little flick because I don't want it to hinder my um, other rod which I'll cast out further and let that roll around okay so I'm down with that right let's bring this rod in I was getting a little bit of an inquiry on it and I'm going to put the same uh, the same deal on this one uh, the bluey squid and uh, lug I think yeah I think I'm into a ray here and that's just on normal squid so I don't know whether this rolling rig you know I've caught one on a flowing trace and well maybe two on this uh this rig my friend made oh no oh <laughs> good oh well i had to have one everybody's favorite so it's a little dogfish but it's lovely hooked you know they are great hooked look at him oh, little thing wrapped up he don't want to show himself there's the bait there hooks nice and proud so i'm going to cast this one out and let this roll around and so that's about a good hundred foot out further than my other rod so hopefully they won't catch and I'll just give that let that have a little bit of line so that it can do its thing lock that in and uh, fingers crossed we catch something I think I'm going to bring this other rod in and uh, rebait it. Feels like there's something on there, but I don't think it's a ray. If it is, it's very small. I think it may be the. Uh, Lovely dogfish. Yep. 
Well, I did know I would uh, have to fight through these, but I was quite lucky first thing this morning with um, hooking. Uh, he swallowed that right down, so I'll have to get my disgorger on that to get that out. Oh, I don't know, it's not too far down. Right, let's try and get this out. Well, right, I'm just as I'm baiting this one up, I'm getting uh, taps on both. Hopefully, it's not uh, both dogfish, but it is what it is. This bloody dog. Yeah, you know what you've done. I'll say he's not a puppy anymore. He's he's a year old now. He's a man. He's a little man, and. Uh, he causes me so much grief in the mornings. I was rushing and rushing, and every time I got about five foot to him, he ran off again, ran off again. I had to coax him with my pasty and then grab him by the throat. My bestie's in there. She's in the heat. Uh, I'm hoping he'll get a bit better. I think he's there just to test me, test my patience. Right, so I don't know what's going on with this one. I'm going to uh, give it a little uh, pull and see. I'm hoping it's a ray. So let's get myself organised a bit. Right, hey, out. No, I think it was uh, just a dogfish, but there's nothing on there now. It doesn't feel like I'm on the leader now. No, it's just been uh, playing with my squid. So I'm, I think I'm just going to keep the uh, this bit of squid here is not too bad. I'm just going to uh, re-put that on like that. And I might just uh, hook this head on to give it a little bit of action in the tide and a nice bit of ink there so I'm literally just gonna drop this one down and this is with Malcolm's boom on okay now I don't know what the other one's doing so I'm already baited up so I'm I'm sort of all ready now. Got it all organised. Yeah, I'm getting an inquiry on this one here. Right, let's have a look what was going on with this rod. <coughs> yeah, I think it's on, whatever it is. It doesn't feel very ray-like. I think it's uh, another lovely dogfish. If anything, I'm not sure now. Don't feel like anything. No, nothing on there. Right, so I've already got this uh, trace already made up. So literally, all I do is I unclip this, put that there, and clip my next one on. I'm ready to go. There you go, it's like that, right. So I'm going to cast this one out. So the whole idea of this rig is it's going to roll around and we're in sort of a, not on a reef, but it's sort of roughish ground and there's pits and troughs and that. So this lead will sort of pick up the contours I'm hoping and roll down and the baits pin pretty tight to the to the um, seabed so it should it should uh, 
attract the rays you know if the rays are holding where this bait goes it falls into these small holes and whatever and this is where the, the rays are lying so hopefully i'll pick up there's a bit of cheering going on on manx bell so i don't know what they're getting there i don't think they're cheering that dogfish i had so i don't know what they're doing perhaps john's got the kettle on one guy's on a dab as well, right? Oh, right. Uh, John, can I just ring you back? Sorry. Yeah, yeah all right, mate. One sec. Right, I've just uh, hooked into something now. I'm hoping it's a ray. It feels like a ray. So it's lovely on this lure rod. It's definitely not a, a um, dogfish. So this is back with the bluey cocktail feels like a ray as i say there's no real monsters here but it's really strange because uh, john on manx bell he's literally 300 yards away from me not even that he's about 100 yards away from me and uh, all they're getting is whiting and uh, dogfish and he said to me it's strange you know sometimes you will get yeah this is definitely a ray i'm sure Oh yeah, oh that's a slightly better size. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Yeah, that's a nicer one. Oh yeah, and it's literally just caught in those scissors, so there's no, uh, look, the hook's out straight away. Lovely. So I'm really pleased with that. Beautiful looking thing. Like prehistoric, you know? Let's get a photo of that and then I'll get him back. Okay, so a nice ray. So let's get him back. And there he goes, swimming off. Okay, so that's ray number four. So uh, mission accomplished at the minute. And they all seem to be, apart from one I've had, they all seem to be on this, on this self-hooking, um, oops, on this self-hooking trace, which uh, seems to be doing the business for me today. As I say, it's great fun with uh, this little light lure rod. So let's cast this out. As I say, what it's doing, it's just rolling over these little dips and pits where the bait lies and these rays love to lay in that area. <clears throat> I know John's going to punch out and uh, think he's going to go and do a bit of wreck fishing, but I'm a little bit concerned about my batteries because uh, they're not charging, so I don't know whether I've got a battery gone down or something but when I start the engine up it's uh, showing less voltage than it is and uh, I mean I'm not far from the marina but I, I don't want to uh, be stranded out here I mean John is on sort of uh, call I have got another battery that's linked to these two that I can just uh, switch over to start me and I have got a jump pack in there but I don't want to uh, risk it so it's like uh, what's it now it's 10 to 10 slack waters at half 10 so I might well after that I might just just go in and then try and get this sorted out because I I'm a bit of a worrier I don't like to uh, be out here if something's not working properly but we'll see how we get on okay so my line's gone slightly uh, slack here so I'm not sure oh dear that's the smallest dogfish of the smallest dogfish of the day and I think it's taken it straight down and it's uh, oh no I can see the hook so let's try and get this out but uh, yeah, little dogfish. Yeah, I've just started my engine up and uh, just to make sure it goes, I'm a little bit worried about um, my batteries going down. So I don't want to be stuck out here. So it's just 10 past 10 now. So I've had uh, four rays. I've just uh, 
<coughs> called John and he's going to take my bait. There's no point in wasting it, so I'm going to head in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry I couldn't be out here longer and get any uh, monster rays, but I think hopefully you got the dolly of it. Uh, I think the rig of the day was that self-hooking one, uh, 4 0 hook, and the bait seemed to be this cocktail of bluey, black lug, and uh, just a side of squid on a short trace on a rolling lead, self-hooking. Thanks for watching, and uh, please uh, subscribe, hit that button, and uh, it means a lot to me if you'd subscribe. And uh, as I said, I'm going to be doing a video with John and Malcolm, uh, both very experienced uh, skippers here in Eastbourne. He's the best uh, charter boat fisherman here. Uh, he does a lot with the England squad and all of that. Very, very experienced. And I'll be going out with John. Uh, he's going to take me out and uh, catch me some species that I've never caught before. There's a few that uh, few fish, and he's the man. He knows where uh, where to get this stuff from. So uh, I'll be jumping out on Manx Bell. So hopefully some nice videos coming up. But uh, Malcolm and John are very knowledgeable. Um, so uh, I'm going to do that. But I'll probably break that up into a into a few parts and uh, and put it on a playlist. You know. Um, uh, for, for you to see. Very, very knowledgeable, the pair of them.